right, day two, here we go. Uh, Bohemia Bees here at the Hive Life Conference 2022. It's been a great day yesterday. We're gonna try to put together some more stuff today just to share a couple of our experiences here at the uh, conference. Looks like there's a lot of people that are up early. Are you checking out the uh, wares? Checking out the booze, Dirt Rooster. Bob over here talking creamed honey. But uh, it's been a good day. We got a lot of, uh, a lot of good content today too, so stay tuned. Hey man, how you doing? Uh, good to see you at the conference. Uh, just give us a sense of why you uh, why you came to the conference this year. Well, Jason, this is our second year to be here, so we've been uh, been to last year's too. Uh, Kamen and I have um, uh, known Kamen for quite some time, and when he started talking about this conference, about putting on something, I was like, man, I have to be a part of this in shape, form, or fashion, whether it be a vendor, a volunteer, what have you. So. Uh, it's just been an amazing run. Last year was great. This year, wow. Hey, good morning. How's everyone doing this morning? We're good. Good. You're back for day two for the conference, right? Yes. yes. Why did you guys? Tired, though. What, you're tired? I'm super tired. Super tired. You know what? My 13 year old daughter is probably super tired too. <laughs> She's always super tired, but that's okay. So you're here though. Yeah. So that's the most important thing, right? Why did you come to the Hive Life Conference? Well, you know, I'm a very, my shirt actually says it. I'm more of a quiet person. I'd rather stay back and not be in the crowd. But uh, I'm, I know Cayman, so that's the reason I'm here. You push me to come here. Uh, actually, so many people want me to get up on stage, and they're crazy. It's not going to happen. Uh, <laughs> they're trying to get you to get on stage, but you're not. You're yeah, like, I'm not doing that. So how did I end up here? I have no clue. It's great. I really enjoy it. And, um, I like talking to all these people. But it's definitely a lot, but I'm really excited to be here. So, yeah. I mean, I really don't know how we live here. I think it was mainly Kate. Really just wanted to yeah. so. How about you, Mom? Why did you come? Um, just socializing. Socializing. <laughs> and learning more about the bees, right? Yes. That's yes, right. And That's just right. meeting all these beekeepers and... Um, talking bees there you all go. day long there's nothing better very cool very cool <laughs> i love your shirt let me see the shirt again real quick that's awesome yep. that <laughs> i was all right awesome. yesterday i was like talking to people it was great and then today i'm just like completely drained so i was like i'll wear this shirt today there you go <laughs> it says it all you don't need to say anything else exactly well thank you both i appreciate it and have a great conference thank you thank you why'd you guys uh come to be uh the live hive life conference well it's uh you know, being around other beekeepers and getting, you know, everybody else's knowledge and sharing knowledge and uh, seeing everybody that's excited about the same hobby is uh, fun. Yeah, absolutely. How about you, James? Why'd you come to the conference? We can only find a group like this crazy enough at one place at one time. That's right. <laughs> that's a good one. It's very true. Well, I hope you guys have a good conference today and uh, and uh, make sure you uh, check out uh, Bohemia Bees online. Will do. Absolutely. Thanks a lot, gentlemen. All right, thank you. Hey, look who I caught. She's usually behind the camera. I tried to get Cayman, but he's running around with his head cut off, so I got the best next best person or the better person, Laurel. So, Laurel, how's your show going so far? Pretty good. Pretty yeah, good? Yeah, a few hiccups here and there, but we'll, we'll get them all straightened out. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, well, you guys are doing a phenomenal job. This has been a great conference, and uh, we're going to definitely come back next year, and uh, and hopefully it's going to be bigger and better, but it's, it's, it was a great show this year. So I appreciate all the effort you guys put into putting this together. So thanks again. Thanks again. Mindful that there are risks to bringing in swarms, but catching a swarm and immediately deweeding it and replacing it with one of your own queens could be a mistake. Those swarms might have something that you want, especially if you're trying to do some Hey, here I'm with the Dirt Rooster here at the uh, Hive Life Conference uh, 2022. We're at their amazing booth. Randy, how you doing? You got the amazing people doing behind great. you. Doing great. I'm worn out. My hips are going and my back's locked up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're having a good time though, getting to meet a lot of awesome people. And the vendors came out in force for this thing. It's crazy. Yeah. But the crowd, dude, there is so many people here. It's an amazing show. Wow. I mean, about, what did I say, about a thousand people, I think they had. Close, to, close to a thousand people, yeah. Like All the staff, the people that are coming in to help it. Cayman's running around like crazy and trying There's, to get stuff done. Cayman has not stopped. I can't believe it. That dude, he's supposed to be running a giant conference. He's been eating garbage cans. He's been mm -hmm. <laughs> organizing tables. Uh, we went to dinner with him last night, and then he came back here to perform for the Blue Bash. Show. Which was amazing. You didn't come back to see that? I didn't get to good. see it. I had to buy the CD so I yeah. can see that and show it off to everybody. But. I heard he sang and everything. I think yeah, well, he's a man. I, you know what? When people listen to him on YouTube and then, you know, just talking and stuff, and then you hear his voice on stage, you're like, is that Kamen? And it yeah. sounded really good. It was really good. Yeah, it was really good. You serious? You can I, sing like that? I've seen him play his mandolin before. Yeah. He did a phenomenal job last night. I'll show you a video right. afterward. It was a pretty good job. Well, yeah. 
So your conference is going good? The conference is going amazing for us. You got the crew here, you got all the merchandise. My wife is going to need a uh, soak in a hot tub and a massage when we're done. And That's the cost. And, uh, That's the cost of doing business now. And I just need a bottle of Belize or something. <laughs> a big bottle. A big bottle. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Well, I hope you had a great conference and uh, hopefully you're going to see you next year. We'll see you on YouTube. We'll see you all over the place. So yeah, yeah, yeah. we I appreciate gotta, it. I'm going to make my rounds to all the vendors and uh, I got to go talk to everybody and get you on some video. Yeah, man, definitely. We'll, we'll connect. But uh, it's been a great conference and I'm glad you had a chance to just very good man take it easy take it easy hey i got laura and johnny here from pigeon mountain everybody knows pigeon mountain we've been buying from them for years uh hope you guys are having a good show right great yeah yeah why'd you guys come out to the hive life conference new conference that we give it a try yeah okay very good yeah awesome you guys had a good activity the people coming through lots of people here about what they said about a thousand people here he said about a few grown after two years they just had this conference for two years this is my first conference here too so I've not been in this conference, but last, but this year, so I'm excited about it. But uh, you guys got a lot of stuff, as you can see, in the around you. I'll give everybody a little quick tour of everything you got on the table out here selling. But you can go online to is it Pigeon Mountain Trading .com. That's right. So hopefully you guys check these out online. They've always had a lot of good a variety of equipment. I picked up a copper smoker yesterday. Uh, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a, I have love old smokers, unique smokers, all that kind of stuff. And I grabbed one of those yesterday, so it's exciting. So you'll see that in my shop if you guys come visit. But I appreciate it, uh, Laura and Johnny, and uh, you guys have a good conference. Thank you. you take Thank it you. easy. Uh, in all honesty, I quit pollinating to stay away from all the chemicals. I only do a couple of little orchards. I don't do any pollination for anybody. Won't do it. They call me for watermelon. Sorry. Call Bob. Call Ken. Call somebody. I'm not going to do it. In Florida, it's very unique rather than Kentucky. And again, I think we'll tell you this. Kentucky's got kind of three regions. You've got Eastern Kentucky in the mountains. Central Kentucky, where you get the rolling grasslands, over swarms, etc. Western Kentucky is more flat corn and beans. Uh, but in your, if you're in the Central Kentucky area, hey man, looks like you got your hands full. Yep. You enjoying your conference? Yeah, I am. I Absolutely. Am. Well, why'd you come to the Hive Life Conference? Uh, I don't know. I thought about passing it up, but I follow people like you on uh, on uh, YouTube and sure came and sells it well. It does so I was like, well, I'll come and check it out. It's I just live over in North Carolina, so it you're ain't not that far away. Great, yeah. so it was a good drive. Yep. Yeah, yeah. I got some. I can see you got some goodies there yeah, already. I'm gonna try some Premier Foundation. Yeah, there are definitely Premier Foundations here, and that's a, a pretty good product that they're putting yeah. out. So yeah, I'm, I think I picked up a case or two of that stuff. Though, so yeah. we'll see what that looks like in the apiary this year. But hey, man, I hope you have a good show and uh, a very nice meeting you. Yeah, it's good meeting you. Take it easy. Hey, Jason from Bohemia Bees here. I got um, at the Hive Life Conference, and I'm with Ricky here. Uh, with the uh, Andes Honey Farm. And he's going to talk us a little about uh, a different style of hive that we don't traditionally see on my channel, uh, but we do, uh, a lot of beekeepers use it, which is the uh, the top bar or long hive. Uh, Ricky, how you doing? I'm doing pretty good. It's uh, nice to meet you finally, and you know, I've been a follower of you for, for quite a while. So, uh, But yeah, we, we run uh, horizontal hives, and um, we enjoy them. They're, they're a little easier to get into. For a man like myself, it's got a really bad back. You know, it's easy to open that hive up, pick a few frames out, you know, get your little honey out of it, and shut it back up. So a little bit more insulated than a, a vertical hive. But uh, your bees will go horizontal, but they do like to go vertical also. We just want to give people uh, just a little bit different way of keeping honeybees. Absolutely. You know, there's different ways of keeping honeybees and different styles of honeybee hives. and. And looking at these, and, and I actually have a uh, modification you guys see on my channel of the, the queen rearing uh, castle that I built out, the mega castle as I, as I refer to it. This is very similar to that. It's that lot, kind of long long hive. You can keep multiple colonies in here. That's the other good thing. That way you have, uh, if you want to manage more than just one, um, you can let it build out to have a full colony. That's a pretty pretty strong colony, uh, but you can have multiple here, which is great in case you have, want to have that, you know, continued genetics and you lose a hive, whatever the case may be. Great insulation, great R value on these. Um, Gunner Rowe, who uh, is on my channel a little bit, uh, it just purchased one of these um, from uh, from Ricky, and he's going to bring one home. We're going to we're going to take a look at it, and we're going to see uh, how this thing goes together, how we can put bees in it, how it progresses, and uh, hopefully you can follow along. And if that's the style hive you'd like, get old uh, Ricky here um, at uh, horizontalbees or horizontal horizontalbees.com horizontalbees.com. There we go. Okay, so good luck. Here we go. Thank you. Hey, how we doing? You enjoying the conference? Yeah, absolutely, it's been awesome. Yeah. What are you getting out of the conference so far? Well, just uh, just everything learning about bees. Meeting a lot of the biggest thing I'm enjoying is meeting people like you, other YouTubers. Wow. 
you know, people that watch our videos, it's been a lot of fun meeting folks. Yeah, yeah. That's definitely. what I got most of them. But I've learned some things too and yeah. learned really about how much I don't know. I will agree with you on that. We're always learning. I think that's one thing I learned about the bees is you're always learning from the bees. You watch them, you listen, you learn. And I, and I think you know it, and then you don't know it, right? That's right. So oh, I yeah. think that's the best thing that, that I take away from this. And then the same with the YouTubes, right? You yeah, know, I've watched a lot of your content over the years and just learned from you and learned from others that are here, whether it's Caymans or Randys or whoever. And I think that's that community of, uh, of YouTubers even makes well, it We, we were just talking, and I've, I'm as much a student of YouTube as the bees, and back and forth, I enjoy all of it. Absolutely. One reason I wanted to come was to, of course, learn about the bees, but also just chat with like people. Yeah. Just learn. Yeah, it's, it's a great conference, and I'll tell you, came in. They, he's running around here. Randy and I were joking about him pushing trash cans yesterday. That man never stops. No, he's high never energy. stops. That's why yeah. he's. That's why he's got a different physique. Than that's I'm right. 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 Exactly. That's probably this. That's very true. <laughs> See, I think he's figured it out. We got to get a page from King. We used to do an yeah. exercise video or something like that. Yeah, I can go and go until I can, and then I just have to stop. Uh -huh. I, agree. I think he just never stops. Yeah, absolutely. Well, it was good seeing you, Bruce. And then uh, hopefully absolutely. we'll catch up with the rest of the conference. And sure. Enjoy your conference, man. Yeah, talk to you later. All right, we're here at the Hive Life Conference 2022, and we're with the crew over here at Guardian Bee Apparel. What's up, gentlemen? How you doing today? How you doing? It's been a heck of a weekend. It has been a heck of a weekend. Awesome. Day two, and, and we're, we still got a jam-packed schedule today. So, so much foot traffic, way yeah, I, more than we expected. Yeah, I know. It's, I th I said about 1,000 people I think they're talking about in this place, so that's it, pretty cool. Yeah, we, we had six people in this booth yesterday and couldn't keep up. Couldn't keep tremendous. up, yeah. You guys got a lot of apparel here, and, and you do a great job with all your, your equipment. You're selling to beekeepers. Why did you choose to come to the Hive Life Conference? Uh, this year, I, I got familiar with Cayman, and uh, he and I had a couple conversations, and, and I looked around at uh, – like Randy McCaffrey, Jeff Horchoff, Frederick Dunn, some of the people who were getting involved, and just, there wasn't any way we couldn't be here. Yeah, absolutely. Supporting the beekeeping community, that's what it's all that's about, right? right? What absolutely. a great group of people. These, they, all the customers that have come through, all the beekeepers that have come through, come through just an amazing group of people. I agree, I agree. Yeah. So, all right. Well, I appreciate you guys have a good conference, and uh, we'll see you on the flip side. Maybe I'll check out some of your apparel and get, and get suited up in here. So Absolutely. Come see us. Thanks, Thanks. Thanks a lot. Hey, Brian here from Castle Hives. You enjoying your show, man? It is great. Yeah. It is great. Yeah. Why, why'd you come to the conference? What made this conference over any other conference? I saw this conference last year. Um, was not, I mean, just because of Cayman. You know, yeah, I watched yeah. Cayman. Um, wasn't able to come, just it, it didn't fit. So I, I made sure last year, I said next year, I don't care what happens. Snow apocalypse, we drove through it. He's right. He's I'm, right. I'm coming to the conference. This place is amazing. Um, Jason, he'll, he'll, I'm sure he's shown you, and I did see your video, yeah. uh, all the vendors. Lots of vendors here. Lots of, lots of stuff to buy if you're coming out, and there's plenty of people to bring plenty of equipment. I mean, yeah. a lot of it's pre-order, but I, I tell you what, there's a, st a lot of stuff here that's not pre-order. And yeah. these vendors set up early on, uh, or late, they were late in the night, Thursday night, and setting up. And yeah. So it's a pretty cool show. So far. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's definitely a great time. So those that are maybe thinking about it, 
come next year because this Agreed. is a great time. Agreed. So, well, hope you enjoy your show, man. Good meeting you finally. Love it. Yeah, you I know. The face, nice right? you as well. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, yeah. Take it easy, man. Yeah. Take it easy. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, I got Mike here. Just caught him up in the conference. He's running around like crazy, just meeting with everybody and such. And good to see him at the conference. I'm just curious, so what were you expecting to get out of the Hive Life Conference this weekend? Well, with any conference, anything I go to, uh, I don't care whether the topic was something that I, I've heard before or whatever, I just look to pick up any tidbits, any yeah. tidbits whatsoever. But with guys like Bob Benny here and some of these commercial yeah. beekeepers, uh, I like to hear their knowledge and wisdom and, and anything they can say on the topics. But uh, I really want to network i like oh, yeah. network and i like meeting people sure. and you know the youtube thing worked out well for me to meet a lot of people and uh but i like meeting people from all over the country see what they're doing sure so i got everything i wanted out of it just yeah. a good time and it was a good conference it definitely was i like meeting with beekeepers absolutely it's a good I conference do. i can't wait till next year or the next time we can all get together and, and just talk bees oh yeah yeah, and we will. It's going to be a good time. Absolutely. Maybe then I'll know everybody, and so I won't have to go through all the meetings. We can sit down and talk. <laughs> there you go. That sounds like a good time. All right, man. Appreciate it. Good luck. Yeah, man, and hope you had a good conference. I did. First is, what is an unacceptable light number? And this is really getting back to what I was saying right at the beginning of this, which is an unacceptable light number for me at a certain time of year in upstate New York might not be the same as an unacceptable light number for you in South Florida at the same time of year, different time of year. You've got to talk to the folks nearby and figure out what light levels do they have in a situation where year after year they're keeping their bees alive with the mites. And if your level is above whatever they're holding their mites at, maybe you need to be treating them low. That's the, the nuanced answer. The lazy answer, the easy answer, is more than 2% mite infestation is, is probably going to be a recipe for disaster for your bees. If you can get it to 1% or less, that's probably going to be better. And wherever you set your treatment threshold is, is probably by your appetite for maybe losing bees to mites and how much you want to spend thinking about mite control and, and spend on mite control if you're using you know, see this amount of people you know kind of in one area right you know, getting together talking bees were you at last year's conference i was not you know, this is my first time so, at this conference so right? the, the, the first conference went so well and everyone heard about it and i'm like oh my gosh i am not missing the next one yeah. and i know we, we, we uh, it keeps coming up and we talk to folks about it but everyone the path that got them here with the with the road conditions and everything else speaks to the type of people that are here sure no one wanted to miss this i mean no i mean this I, this this is, this is likely the, the, the biggest b conference going on but what's what's beautiful the type of people that are here the, the, the content creators the people that come out and support us all we're right. supporting cayman and laurel uh and and in this new endeavor what in the world if they at this growth i mean next year is going to be i don't yeah. even know i don't know what to say about that i don't know how big the conference was last year but just seeing the size of this conference for a, a niche sort of like this and how it was all brought together in such a i won't say short time but you know they plan conferences sometimes two or three years in advance Easy. this one was put together you know in six eight months i don't really know the timeline but i can tell you that it doesn't seem like that it felt like right. it was something that's been planned for a while and it, it was just a really top-notch show. So yeah. There's a lot of people online, I know, on the, the Hive Life uh, boards and various other places that were saying, oh, thanks for you know showing us pictures. That we're going to definitely get there next year. So oh, there's a host man. of people that are not here that want to be here. There's got to be a 1,000 people here this year. I can't even imagine next year. Uh, it's, it's I went with you all, and the vendors next year are going to know that, hey, if they come to the Hive Life conference, they're going to sell product. I think they're going to also offer as good as or I think better um, variety of deals because they know that it's going to be worth their time. And we, we want them to win. We want you all to win. Everybody needs to win in order for this to keep growing and the industry to keep growing. So you all are just, um, I'm so thankful for you all. I'm so thankful for David Peck and for Kent Williams, for Bob Benny and Rick Sutton, Randy McCaffrey. Frederick Dunn and so, so many of you who have done just even just the littlest things to make this possible. And for all of you who brave the crazy weather, because there was a lot of people that said, you know what, <coughs> I'm just not going to do it. But you all were one of those people. You, you, and maybe some of you were delayed. I know a lot of you were, but you still said, yeah. And that's what it takes to be great beekeepers and be people that make change. You have to be able to find a way to say yes. You have to sometimes will things into being. 
and that's kind of the way it felt like with this conference. There was a several times that um, we had the two choices. We had the choice to wheel our way through it, or we had a choice to buckle under the pressure. And that was definitely a temptation because when Kent showed up and walked through that door, I just about had a heart attack. Lord, not again. Well, you know, your wife has said that a few times. That's why she felt when she first saw you. Don't doubt that, yeah. We're running over time. Do you guys have any final words you'd like to say? You guys good? You have to be tenacious. Love it. Anybody else over here? Fellas, thank you so much. I hope that we meet again in the future. Everybody, thank you so much for coming out and making the High Black Conference special like it was this year. Thank you. Well, that's a wrap. Hive Life 2022. We're here in the uh, Coliseum and we're getting ready to leave. I got my partner in crime, Gunner, who's not been on interview the whole time. He's been behind the scenes helping me. He drove all the way. He's going to drive all the way home. He's got the uh, transport to get me here and get me back. But uh, it's been a great time. Did you have a good time, Gunner? I had a great time. Ready for yeah. next year. Ready for next year? Yeah, exactly. That's what I said. What would you take away from the conference, Gunner? I took away a lot. I, being a first-year beekeeper, um, I was just overwhelmed by the people here. Yeah. And really interest and sincerity. And Welcoming, to too. I just felt like everybody exactly. welcomed you in no matter what, whether you were Bob Bimney and you had a million-plus pounds of honey processing every year, or whether you were Gunner Rowe and you brought your one pound of honey to enter in the Gunner <laughs> Test, <laughs> which, I mean, that's awesome. And that's what beekeeping is about. That's why we like what we do. That's why we continue to share on the YouTube channel. So I appreciate everyone's support. Uh, make sure you hit the subscribe button down the bottom below. Make sure you come and follow and uh, and connect with me online. And uh, we'll continue to produce content as long as you continue to watch it. So remember, beekeeping is more than a hobby. What? It's an obsession. That's right. Take it easy.